So a couple of weeks ago, everybody was mad with Activision, but why is everyone handing out L's? Why is this guy says uh, saying this should be illegal, bro? Guys, fasten your seatbelt, stop rolling your fat doobies around, wait for the plot twist here, okay? Check this out. You ready, guys? Okay, L listen to this. In order to get this beast glove in Call of Duty, you have to spend $80 and buy four different... 2400 call of duty points godzilla to get this godzilla king kong bundle and that's not the best part guys you want to know the best part you want to see the climax wait for the climax there buckos like the video if you hate the microtransactions <laughs> dislike the video if you love buying microtransactions uh, let me know and wait for this one guys roll it and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to modern warfare 3 you guys know yeah. we have to talk about it the uh -oh. 80 dollar mega bundle here within modern warfare 3 which requires fans to purchase four separate 2400 cod point bundles yeah. in order to unlock you guessed it a fallout power yep. fist with a yep. monkey skin in it <laughs> this melee weapon can only be a dog for 80 dollars i can bring a real monkey home bro like what the hell are we doing <laughs> like listen this game costs 70 dollars 70 dollars and these sons of female dogs are selling this joint for 80 dollars i mean bruh bruh bruh, bruh locked by purchasing $80 worth of King Kong bundles in the shop and it basically looks like they just ripped off the model from Doomfist in Overwatch. This footage here is coming from Detonated who claimed in their post that you cannot equip camos to the weapon itself yeah. but it does look like you can yeah, it's just an can. Activision. And, and before you say no nobody's gonna buy it guys somebody bought it. Yeah, somebody bought it. You're looking at the gameplay right now. You know, it's amazing here. This is what I'm saying. Like the video if you hate this crap. Dislike if you love this crap, okay? And Call of Duty are shitting Wait the bed it. today as their servers are not working properly, causing of tons of players, myself included, yeah. to not be able to level up, <laughs> use custom classes, equip camos, or really do anything besides wonder why we even signed into the game. Oh, $80 man. for a monkey fist. Holy hell, ladies and gentlemen. You guys thought the $30 hammer back in Black Ops 4 was bad yeah. well it looks like activision doubled down on that idea here with the yeah. modern warfare 3. now obviously just a couple of weeks ago we had the 35 dollars i believe dune bundle or some crap like that too, this right? being the cod community there are people out there defending the yeah, doom fist fallout 4 mod here claiming that if you're looking to buy this bundle and you're not sure just let us know in the comment section because i'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this video is willing to punch you for free bro Bruh. like absolutely we're ready to punch you for free okay if you're like hey uh, I'm not sure whether I should buy this $80 bundle or not. Let us know. We're here to help, okay? Give us that $80, all right? We're ready to take it, and we'll punch you back. At least, at least you're gonna feel something, okay? At least you're gonna feel the sensation, though. You know what I'm saying? With this crap, you're just gonna get like a spike in dopamine and then you're gonna flatline and it's gonna crash. You're gonna crash like a motherfucker out there, bruh. It should just be looked at as a reward for completing the Kong collection. And yeah, King Kong. What the fuck, man? <laughs> completing the collection. You didn't complete anything. You bought four separate $20 bundles. These bundles, of course, come with operators, oh. weapon blueprints, and tracer rounds, yeah. which on their own is annoying enough that these things even exist to begin with. But one third, the price of the game, for three skins and then you have to buy all four of the bundles to get the robo monkey paw not to mention the price point here is very meticulously set yeah. to trick people into spending 100 dollars instead of just the 80. if of you look course. at the cod point packages within the shop the cheapest way to do this is four separate 20 dollar purchases you get 2400 cod points oh, with each 20 dollar purchase but with the entire bundle costing 9600 cod points with there being a bundle for 9000 500 cod points in the shop some fans will no doubt just throw the extra yeah. 20 dollars in to buy the 100 cod yeah it's like if you can uh, buy for 76 dollars why not go ahead and buy for a hundred uh, I, I mean like a 30 percent bonus damn action quite nice guys there <laughs> no be honest guys okay <laughs> Am I the only one right now? Am I the only one? I know Nero Cinema is here talking about it. I know some of you guys are talking about it and you're, you're hating this crap. But like, are we the only one that's like looking at this and finding it problematic? Nah, you, you're just toxic. You're just problematic. E -e -e -e. Like, what? what is going on? $80. $80. $70 is the cost of the game though. You feel what I'm saying? 
point bundle to save themselves time. What yeah. makes this even worse is Wait as people it. are learning about this multi-billion dollar company selling an $80 melee weapon, the fucking Call of Duty servers are having outages. This resets half or maybe even more of the player base back to level one where literally nothing is tracked while the server outage is happening. Of like course. you jump into a match, you can only use default classes against other people who are using full-on classes and kits that they've had for the entirety of the game's life cycle. Of course, right? Because you have given them your $80, so right now they're busy counting $80, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Like, they're they're taking their time, they're gonna count all the money that they got with this, uh, uh, you know, a Kong monkey punch here, right? Whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> For $80, bro, I can bring the entire King Kong home, bro. I can win bring the entire King Kong home, bro. Hey, cool. You can't level up. You can't use custom classes. You can't progress the current event camo. You can't do your weekly challenges. You literally cannot do anything. Yeah. And that is just the most sickening part of this to me. Like, what a messed up juxtaposition that we have here. Countless players out there are unable to play the game because Activision servers won't let them. Meanwhile, hundreds, if not thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people are currently at this moment copying their credit card details into the game to buy $80 worth of skins that they probably won't even use just so they can run around with the Vault Tech Kong Masher. <laughs> we've all heard the term <laughs> microtransaction, and we've all joked about the idea of macro transactions oh. because there's Who are these people, man? Like, okay, I, I get it. Like, you know, if you're a if you're a Saudi prince, if you're if you're an oil prince right now that does not know <laughs> You know, I do not know where to put my money in. I do not know. I got so much money and it's a problem, right? Like, I do not know where to spend the money. Okay, at that point, okay, I, I get it, though, you know? You want to get that quick dopamine Bruh. and you want to get that monkey punch and you want to feel like uh, some kind of way. Okay, whatever, right? But I, I, I would, like, beg to differ. I would say that if you're, like really at the point where you do not know where to put that money just give that money to to us you Bruh. know we'll punch you for free after that because i mean technically activision is saying like this skin is free uh, once you spend 80 dollars it's, it's a free punch right but if you spend 80 dollars so just use that logic give that money to us and all of us will punch you for free and, and at least you're gonna get the sensation and you're gonna like feel some kind of way because with this you're not gonna feel anything bro like the video if you agree guys nothing micro about the shit in the call of the store yeah nothing but micro, forget bro. about macro man mega this is a mega transaction <laughs> that sets an incredibly annoying precedent for call of duty moving forward it's okay i didn't know he was gonna say that okay guys get ready for the climax okay real quick i want to say i will be starting streams very soon on twitch.tv so if you got twitch account definitely feel free to follow there if you're into ufo content uh conspiracy content that's exactly what we do on this secondary youtube channel i upload there every single day so it would be a pleasure to have you there all right let's get back to the content here boo boo it's annoying enough that it exists already, but you know because it exists now, it's going to continue to exist going forward. Yeah, I said the same course. damn thing back when they first announced the Black Cell Battle Pass. To me, and I'm sure many of you out there, $30 a season for a battle pass in a $70 game is just absurd. It's obscene. It, it doesn't I, make yeah, any like, sense. But yet still, yeah, you like, see Black Cell skins in every damn lobby you play here within Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. These dudes are pumping out $180 a year on battle passes in a $70 game, crazy, not bro. to mention all the other bundles that they're likely buying. So you know there is no doubt that these people are going to drop $80 on the Winston Doomfist collab yeah. weapon. Yeah. Virtually a, a lot of people right now are like bro nobody nobody's gonna buy it. nobody now nah, bro like they know people are gonna buy it. that's why they do it that's why they do it people are gonna buy bro people got a lot of money man everybody's a rich motherfucker out there except for you and i perhaps okay like everybody rich right now bro this is what i'm saying and, and like honest to god every company right now is like okay let's make it ten dollars battle pass activision is like now nah, bro like hold my beer son we'll make it thirty dollars right now we'll make it thirty dollars you remember this in Send little, uh, 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 you remember this uh, BBC bundle, bro? I mean, I wish we knew. I wish we knew that was because now, nah, I, I mean, I wish we knew that was gonna be the end of it, but now, nah, bro, it's progressively getting worse. That was like what $20, and now we're here at $80, guys. Anything that they try to pull off in the shop ends up working these days, which just green lights them to continue doing it. So don't be surprised at all whenever COD does another collaboration with a TV show or a movie that more of these mega bundles are going to start popping up. This fucking big show punch <laughs> of death here costs more than the actual game, and that's wild like, more than the price. 
piece of the actual you really gonna do big show like that come on man oh. big show retired homie but i get what he's saying like holy crap like 80 dollars, guys look at it bro. game itself and if that does not set off alarms in your head i don't know what to tell you we have seen oh. tons of egregious nonsense from activision over the years but selling a melee weapon in the game for more than the actual price of the game itself is fucking wild man like i can't be alone <laughs> here right and i've said it before i'll say it again we were happy when they got rid of supply drops all those years ago but by today's stand honestly bro i'm not sure how to feel this way i just find it funny bro like it's so sad that it's actually funny right now it's so it has gotten so bad that i cannot even be angry right now you feel what i'm saying i remember like when back when you know uh when we had that one dollar one dollar red dot side that we used to get for free but activision was like okay let's sell one dollar <laughs> one dollar red dot side in black ops where you remember that time okay yeah i mean a lot of people were mad back then i i also i feel like i if i remember correctly i feel like that i got mad then too uh but now i i just can't guys i i, I mean I, I just can't just can't get mad you know what i'm saying like this is like a standard procedure just another day Standards. Supply drops were a fantastic system. They got rid of supply drops because of the gambling aspect of it and how that's bad oh, for people. Shit. But how is it good what? for anybody to be flooding the shop daily with stuff like this? I mean, there's over ten thousand dollars worth of stuff in the Modern Warfare Three slash Warzone shop right now. Yeah, and honestly, shocked, yeah. that figure is probably pretty low. It's probably way more than ten grand if you want to get everything from the Modern Warfare Three slash Warzone shop, and all of it can be bought and paid for. At least with supply drops, you got rewarded with stuff for playing the game it was completely free i do understand the gambling aspect of it and i do understand oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, compulsiveness yeah. that certain people have out there in the world yeah, yeah okay if you're gonna bring in that aspect then your argument's fine but other than that bro like holy crap imagine could you imagine if nero shinema just said that supply drops is cool nah bro <laughs> what 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 are you saying right now but now the, the, the fact is that supply drops were like a good mechanic uh, i know I, I cannot say it with straight face right now but that supply drops was a good system in a way because you would earn keys or whatever like call of duty points in the game then you can crypto keys i remember like back in black Ops 3 right you would earn that and then you can open it just became a problem when they monopolize it right so now you can actually go ahead buy crypto keys and then like uh, open up the supply drops then it became loot boxes like gambling mechanics they amplified the crap out of the gambling mechanics a and then it became a problem absolutely 110 percent it became a problem so much so that i believe in uh, in europe they, they they've done like actual uh, uh congress uh, and crap like that where they officially taught they had they held hearings to talk about that we need to stop this because it's actually gambling right and they did that and now this is where we at but other than that if if they did a system where you would get keys or points in the game that you can uh, just by playing the game and you were, were to use that to open up supply drops yeah that's cool right because the, it, it's one of those like surprise mechanics i mean literally i know i know Bruh. i know ea actually used this argument to defend their loot boxes their gambling boxes i mean come on dog like without mon uh, mon uh, money without uh, before money was involved it was actually good but the second they thought about it they lowered the earn rate and they I'm pretty sure they made it uh, made it a thing where if you were to use like your in-game earned coins, points, crypto keys, whatever you want to call it, to open up supply drops, you wouldn't get as good as of a good of a loot than you if you were to like spend actual money opening that if that makes sense though like it's uh oh, but selling 80 dollar melee weapons that don't even transfer between games six months before the next game comes out yeah it's just true. as bad as that shit in my opinion like that i don't really true, think yeah. that can even be argued i live in pennsylvania here right the minimum wage here is still 725 an hour that's why i made before i started Seven? doing youtube and to be honest make about the same here still doing youtube so for Damn. old me yo that's that's actually kind of low though the, not kind of that's like insane low though you imagine like working all day <laughs> and spending on this <laughs> oh my god bro imagine right? to buy this knife skin here i would have had to work 12 hours unloading trucks at walmart Man. or listening to pissed off customers at at and yeah. or guarding lumber at the lumber mill right all before taxes mind you like the egregiousness of all of oh, this man. is absurd to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap up this video here today by recommending better stuff for you folks to spend your 80 dollars on for the uh, you, you mean like that hey what what kind bro what 
Like, hey, you mean like that, that, that friendly UAV online? Yo, please do not recommend us the friendly UAV online, bro. Like, I know that that was cheaper, but it's still not what we want, bro. We do not want that, bro. Same price or cheaper as the monkey anal fist of doom, you can buy Pal World and WWE 2K24. That's only 75 bucks. That is cheaper than this freaking melee weapon. Alternatively, you could buy Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3. But, but you gotta understand, Nero, that Call of Duty players... They don't like anything else, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't like anything else. But I, guys, it is time that you say no to this crap, bro. Like, genuinely. And recently, this just went down as well. Click on this video on the screen. I'm not sure if you got to see it or not. Yeah. Uh, Activision is really, really furious. Click on this video. On the left, though, we got a whole lot of woke crap happening as well. Yup, this is really happening in gaming. They are bringing social credit-like system. The Wokies are mad, and they're trying to shut down gaming as well. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right there.